All right, guys. Well, today I have my biggest loss ever. Nope. Should have learned to cut losses quicker. I uh, should have learned to take profit sooner. Should have learned to follow my plan. And when it doesn't go according to plan, to cut losses at the plan time you have. And I mean, just so much I've learned. Um, so for the month of January, as you can see, I am down 341 bucks. Today I lost $263. Um, yesterday I lost 78.95. So that was my biggest loss up to date. And then today just was not good discipline. So let's just get into the trade recap. Let's jump into this trade and see exactly what I did wrong, I was doing with CNET is it had, uh, had some news. Yeah, it had a blockchain strategy and that's why it was up so much. And as you can see, there's a resistance point here around 830. It hits that, comes down and then comes back up and almost kind of tests it. It has resistance at eight. Well, once it comes down and begins making its way back up, I missed this here. I missed it completely. And it touches, of course, hits this resistance around 830 and it begins coming back. It begins coming down. Now I'm thinking it's going to come back up and touch resistance and break the resistance. You know, I ignored the double top because I was like, hey, this is blockchain. It's super hot. I think it's going to come back up. And the market proved me wrong and it just kept fading, kept fading. And I cut losses quickly. Uh, so with actually using 75% of my account here, that's what I intended. That's, that was my goal, to lose 2% if I was wrong on a trade. So that was CNET. Very simple. I tried to buy a dip buy. I tried to dip buy. Or sell into the breakout was my goal. Uh, I really thought I was going to run again just because of the blockchain, but it was a double top and it uh, proved me wrong, which I cut losses. There's nothing wrong with that. But today's problem and the reason why I have a $263 loss, first off, starts with the fact that when I entered the trade, I got in at 290. 3% loss was cutting losses at $2.81. So this morning, um, this is up on good news. They were basically awarded student loan recovery contract from the Department of Education and so it's coming up and then it completely washes out it completely fails and panics and I was like this is fundamental news it's gonna have a good bounce well I was watching it watching it I see it forming a bottom here and so at two you know it's 270 I was like all right I need to start buying well, E-Trade, I didn't have it open, so I'm, I log on to E-Trade everything. By then, it's already around 290, uh, 288. And so I put in the order and I get in at 289, so 290. I buy right here, man, right here. And that happens to be one of the exact tops of this move. So then following that, it comes down, it comes down all the way here. I should have been cutting losses already. I should have been cutting losses, but um, then it begins to make a small move, very small move, and it actually gets all the way to 296. And by that point, I'm up 87 bucks or so. I should have taken profits because I should have known, look, okay, we have a red candle. That means the bounce is probably over. Red candle. I'm still enjoying this journey to becoming a full-time trader. And uh, this is just part of the journey. These are lessons that I'm learning. You know, I can't really look at it as, as a loss, but I have to look at this as a lesson. I have to look at this as uh, many lessons. You know, uh, Timothy Sykes was saying uh, earlier in a video he posted today that the $100 that you win or you lose, it doesn't matter at the end of your life. But the lessons you learn from it, that's, that's what's going to help you become a better trader. So for the month of January, so far I'm down 341 bucks. And so for total, I'm down 438 bucks on my trading process right now. Okay. Uh, 
you know, this big loss taught me to follow my plan. This taught me a whole bunch of things. You know, I didn't cut losses. I was hoping that it came back. I didn't follow my plan. Um, I bought right at the top. I misread the execution plan by 10 cents. I can't rush. And I had a chance to sell for $100 in profit, but I decided not to. And I should have when I realized that, hey, this isn't going to plan. So that's what happens when you're greedy. That's what happens when you're rushing. I mean, that's what happens when you don't follow your plan, when you don't take lo- uh, cut your losses quickly. I could have lost 100 bucks. I could have lost, you know, 70, 80 bucks. I decide instead, I could have made 100 bucks, but I decide instead to take $236 loss. I learned. I learned my lesson. Um, but we still have more to the month of January. I look forward to turning this month green. I still have more about three weeks you know so uh, a little bit under three weeks And that's so true, you know. You know, if if I could have made 236 bucks, that would have been great. But the lessons I learned <laughs> from a $263 loss is great. It is just as good as making $236. You know, I I truly believe that. It I truly believe that hey, I I didn't make $263. Um, but the lesson the lessons that I learned from today from the $263 loss that there is a great in and of itself to not to not deviate from the plan i had and to not rush to be confident you know i was over here there shaking like a little chihuahua once again i have to have to work on that i appreciate you guys looking and uh, checking the video out give it a thumbs up and uh, look forward to the next one guys all right peace out